good morning everybody welcome back to a new vlog i have been wearing this same outfit kind of on rotation i feel like for the past two vlogs however i did leave my jewelry that i have been wearing regularly at ryan's house so i'm wearing different jewelry today i've been forced to mix it up and i don't know how i feel about it there's definitely a slight tone clash going on here but we're rolling with it because my current astrid and me faves have been left by ryan's basin and i'm very sad about it but anyway welcome back to a new vlog today it is wednesday i've got a few bits to go through with you this morning which i'm very excited about i've also just had the go ahead that oh my god so much is going on this week i think this will be in the next vlog but my wardrobes are arriving on friday along with the coffee table for this room if you haven't seen the last vlog I have these little chairs here now, which are just lovely. I am still looking for a rug for this spot here. Lots of people are saying shoot rugs. Lots of people have said like the fluffy, like wool type ones. I don't love the wool, like what's it called? Like high pile. The ones that are like really thick and like fluffy. I used to have one. I don't know if anyone remembers in like one of my really old flats and it had like the zigzaggy pattern on it, which is still like quite popular but it just molted constantly. I'm convinced that's why my Dyson just still isn't like 100% from back in those days. It's probably also in my hair, but I'm gonna just ignore that. So I'm still on the hunt for a rug. I'm still not sure, but hopefully I will decide on something at some point. I'm determined to actually like finish this room, like finish it, it's obviously not the dream but i just want to get every room to a point where it feels a bit like actually finished now rather than just leaving rooms in limbo as i have always just had a tendency to do so yeah coffee table coming friday wardrobe's coming friday light for the wardrobe room has been ordered i've got a couple more things to order for it and then i feel like everything is just gonna start like coming together and i can just enjoy you know i just want things to feel like a bit done for a little while before I jump into like a big home renovation and obviously I've got the garden to tackle over the summer so yeah very excited that all of that is like a go for later this week so there'll definitely be another home vlog home update type situation coming up very soon I really don't know how I need to like sit down and map it all out let me know if you prefer like a video for example on just the wardrobe room and I like put all the footage together and give it to you in one video or do you want it drip fed slowly through vlogs i would love to know what your preference is today i have some new like spring pieces to show you which i'm very excited about i've had a lot of deliveries a lot of deliveries i won't take you through all of them today i don't know if we'll have time but i have a big spring kind of like dress i think it's predominantly dresses that i ordered i'm so excited to unbox them i also have a big denim jeans order because i can't remember if you i've told you guys before but the majority of my jeans are old especially like all of my mom jeans that i love so much are old not old like falling apart old just like i've had them for a couple of years and they don't fit and i'm like having to belt everything quite severely which is fine especially if you like a belted look it actually looks very cool because there's a lot more material to work with so the cinch in is much more dramatic and i love that but when you don't want to wear a belt they're just falling down so i've done a big denim order so yeah all the deliveries but i'm really excited to get stuck into the spring summer dresses so let's do that now kitchen is looking cute today right let's get stuck into this order here it is So as you can see, we have a little Nasty Gal order here. This part of the video is a paid for integrated advertorial with Nasty Gal. They asked me if I would like to pick out some things and show them to you. And of course I would, because I love Nasty Gal in spring. Some of you might remember from last year, I just had some of the best dresses. And honestly, this could not have come at a better time because some of these dresses I've had my eye on since winter. So I'm gonna steam some of these bits first and then I will try them on for you. This I am just, I love. I really hope this fits and is like good for my height because it's so pretty. This as well, I just love. And this, oh, uh, this is just gonna be the best transitional piece from spring even through to summer. You guys know I wear like midi dresses all the time. So yeah, so excited about these. And if you are part of my UK audience, I do have a code. I will put it on screen. It doesn't include sale. But yeah, if you wanna use that, you can. I also have this really cute co-op. I need to steam it, but oh my God, it's gonna be so cute. Also picked up some shoes as well. You guys will know I'm obsessed with this like really minimal style of shoe, whether it's in the form of like a flat or a heel, I don't care. I just absolutely love it. I've never tried nasty girl shoes before, so I'm excited to try these on. You know, when you find something and you just think this might be like my find of the year, this might be it. I think it's so versatile. It's like so 
classic and timeless for one it looks really like expensive in like it's cut i love the fact that it's a cord you can wear it separately i've belted mine around the waist just because i got the eight and it's not as tight the waist as i would like so it just means the length falls a little bit longer so what i've done is i've cinched it at the waist i actually really like the fact that the belt loops are really wide so you can kind of hide a belt underneath it but anyway the cut is just beautiful i really love the way the fabric falls it's one of those pieces that i think you could wear like now if you want to have like a thing in the summer when we're allowed and have a few friends in your garden i would definitely wear it now just for like more casual things with trainers once i take them up because i'm gonna need to do that which is fine I've got Wonderweb, I'm ready. But the trousers would also be gorgeous with like a white linen shirt in the summer and just a pair of sandals. So you can really dress this up or dress this down. I love the tone. This color is gorgeous. Do they do it in a white? I need to know. This is like a beautiful like e-crew color. It's got pockets. If you're shorter, for reference, I am five foot two, so I definitely sit on the shorter side. A little bit of Wonderweb will take these up really easily. And if you're just slightly taller than me, you can just pop a heel on with them. I am wearing the heels that you will have seen when I unboxed everything. I'm not getting too close up because my feet, they are not cute in desperate need of a pedi. So I definitely think these trousers could work for a range of heights. The top is gorgeous. It sits really well on me for the fact that I want to belt these trousers so it just covers up the belt but obviously if you have a longer body it will be potentially more of a crop if i take the belt off so this is kind of where it sits without being like belted and hoiked up so as you can see they literally just about meet i personally love having them cinched in a little bit higher i just really like the way it makes the trousers fall so yeah back with the belt i just think it makes the world of difference just having that little bit of extra material and just cinching it in so i would say these are potentially slightly oversized or just not meant to sit high rise because i got a size 8 i would say i'm a size 8 so i would say they maybe just have a little bit more movement i would get your regular size and if they have a little bit of extra room to breathe just cinch it in because i really do think that little extra like cinch just gives it that little bit more oomph i don't know i can't think of what the word is to describe it but just gives it that little bit of extra like yeah i'm loving wearing trousers at the moment i did like a white trouser blue shirt look on my instagram recently and it just is everything. I'm really, really enjoying that vibe. I think that's a style that I'm really starting to gravitate towards in life, especially in the transitional seasons. I really like kind of a little bit more like of a tailored minimal look. And this plays into that vibe perfectly. I think this would also be really great once weddings are kind of like back up and fully running. This would be gorgeous as a wedding guest outfit. It's like really nice and simple. I'm going to stop talking about it now because I feel like I've talked about this one outfit for about 20 minutes. So yeah, I'm going to go and change into something else, but I love this and would highly recommend if you are looking for something like this. It is so affordably priced and the quality just feels great. I love it. I absolutely love it. Anyway, moving on. This next dress I love. We all need to ignore the fact that I'm due on and bloaty as hell because it is doing me no favours. <laughs> can just see this little shadow. But I love this dress. It is so gorgeous. So comfy. It's like a ribbed knit in this like oatmeal-y, beige kind of grey colour. I would say it's more of a grey. A warm grey marl, basically. It's just not really, really cool toned kind of grey. But yeah, it's really, really beautiful. I love the way it feels. I am going to purchase this in a size six because there's just a little bit too much kind of room around the boob which i just think is great for everyone else because i just don't have any anymore so <laughs> i'm gonna size down and get a six in this one i would say don't worry about sizing up if you do have bigger boobs because the design of this definitely has room for you do not worry but if you're a little bit more down my end then you might want to size down because this is super lovely and stretchy anyway so i wouldn't say that you need to like ever go a size up in something like this but yeah this is so gorgeous i really like the boob detail on it and it's a great length for me if you're taller it will obviously come up a little bit shorter but it's got a nice slit down the side so it doesn't feel like it's swamping me it's actually really really lovely i'm very happy with this i'm gonna go and order this in a size down now if not i'm just gonna take it in myself because i am keeping this <laughs> it's so cute so this next dress i think i was the most excited about out of the whole order and i love it but i just don't think it's me like i love it i love it couldn't wear it how annoying is it when tiktok like migrates onto youtubers like no just stop i can't not i'm just actually obsessed with tiktok audios where was i going with this yes i love this dress i love it so much i just don't think it's me i've popped it on with the 
nasty girl boots which you will have seen which i think are really cool i really like them actually they go so well i think with dresses like these and i've obviously popped on a black waist belt as well just to cinch it in because i will show you in a second what it looks like without and it's a bit like too flowy for me but yeah i love it i think it's gorgeous i'm really on the fence about this because it's so stunning but i'm just like mm, is it me it's got a side slit so it is a little bit of me because we all know I love them. It's really, really light, but obviously it's got long sleeves and it's lined, so there's just like enough to keep you warm. It's that perfect like spring to summer transitional dress. This with like a leather jacket would be gorgeous. Boots in the spring and then like sandals in the summer would be absolutely stunning. What do we think? Let me know. Yeah, this is what it looks like without the waist belt. It's lovely, it just needs, on me, I think it needs a little cinch in. I actually just text this to my friend Kate. Lots of you will know her as Kate Levy or if you're really old school, ghost parties, but her name is Kate Spears. And I just text her being like, this is a bit of you, you need this dress because I could so see this on her. This next dress is another one that I've been eyeing up for well over a month now, just kind of waiting for it to get nearer to spring so that I had an excuse to buy it. But I'm not sure, I think, like I love it. <laughs> I love the print of this, but I'm not sure. I think it needs a waist belt. Just kind of cinch it in, break it up a little bit. I've got it on with the boots again, and it's got this amazing side slit. Once again, just love a side slit. I love the square cut of the neckline, and it's got a lovely low back as well. Really nice and floaty, like smock style on the top, so this will be great for like when you want to eat but socialise, that kind of vibe. I really love it, and the length of it actually. It's decent as well. I think it's meant to be a midi dress, but on me, obviously, maxi. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna try it on with the waist belt though, because I just think it could do with a little like, you know? Oh, the sun's come out. That's nice. That'll last about two seconds. Love it. Love it. I think I'm gonna have to keep everything I ordered. It is really going that way. What do we think? I'm a big fan of this. I really like the fact that it's got that gorgeous violety kind of like lavender tone that we're really seeing everywhere at the moment. I love a small floral print. I just think from afar, it always just looks really cool. And if you're shorter, it just doesn't swamp you as much. And because the backdrop of the print is black, it ties in really well with like having black boots, black waist belt. The whole thing just works really well together. I am a big fan of this it's so gorgeous this dress is definitely a little bit more like summer vibes so you can definitely layer it up a little bit for warmer like spring days but i couldn't resist picking this up now because this is an amazing dupe for the like long flowy white dresses like it, they basically look exactly the same except they cost like 300 pounds yeah i just can't justify that quite frankly these are an amazing dupe for those i can't remember what they're called but these actually feel incredible like they're almost like a linen-y effect i say these because there's two i've got the one in black as well they're almost like a linen -y feel so rather than being lots of the dresses you see like this are a very thin shirt like material which is lovely but these are a little bit thicker and because it's that lovely linen -y effect it looks a little bit more lived in i just love that it's really nice and like warm but feels structured it feels like weighty the quality feels great and i love the fact that you can kind of like have it off shoulder if you want to. I'm really tempted to just like tighten the arms a little bit so that it sits almost in line with where the upper body kind of part is. Me and my sewing kit are definitely getting reacquainted at the moment. I'm just obsessed with like just, oh, what if I just nip this in here? But yeah, if it just sat in line like that, that would be gorgeous. It has a little slit down the side. I'm just so impressed with this. Like it is so thick, like not see-through at all. And we all know that you can really tell on me when a top is like mega see-through. It's a really, really lovely one for spring, summer. I am very happy with this. And this is the black dress. This one is definitely more spring appropriate. I feel like you can get away with wearing a pair of boots with it. I've also just added this tan waist belt. It would also look so great with like tan boots. You could also then do a pair of like tan sandals or sliders in the summer and that would look gorgeous too. But yeah, I just wanted to pair it with boots and a belt to show you how it could look in like a less floaty, summery kind of situation. I love it, I think this is gorgeous. I definitely want to try and buy more like little black summer dresses this year. I think they're far more versatile in the transitional seasons than white dresses necessarily are. I think white dresses, you really have to feel like it's warm outside and you know, like the weather is nice to wear them even if you pair them with like denim jackets. I just think black dresses, they pair better with like tights for example, tights and boots, whereas as white dresses i just can't see it with tights so yeah i just don't see them as being as like seasonally versatile as a black dress and this one i kind of think 
shows that it definitely looks far less summery but could look really gorgeous in the summer without the waist belt. I think they're gonna be real staples in my spring summer wardrobe. So those are all the dresses. I honestly think they are all keepers. It is very rare that I do a haul and I keep everything, but I really love everything. Let me know which items were your favorites in the comments. And yeah, like I said, there'll be a discount code so I'll put that on screen in case you want to use it. There are actually a few more pieces which I wanna pick up. There's some really cute like linen look little summer dresses so I might have to pick those up because I don't think I can do spring summer without them. I think my favourite for sure was definitely the cold though, then the knitted dress, then the purple kind of green floral print and then the final three I can't choose between. I just still love that pink number but I do think the white and black dresses are going to be real summer staples so I'm kind of like hesitant to rank them yet but I love all of them and the majority of pieces are pieces that you could buy and get away with wearing like in the next month or so which is really exciting. I don't know about you but I just want spring summer pieces that I can wear now like I'll layer them up I'll wear tights, I'll wear thermals underneath, I don't care, I just, I'm so done with winter dressing. Like, I stopped wearing coats so long ago, I'm literally on like trench coats, duster coats, that kind of vibe, or nothing else. And I'm very fortunate that I live as far down south in the UK as you can get, so we do kind of have our own little mini climate. But yeah, I've been over winter for like months. Hello, welcome to another instalment of In My Kitchen. I discovered a rather brilliant life hack the other day, which was, it's not really a life hack. Okay, hear me out. So, I've made my coffee in the morning smaller so that I can justify having another couple of coffees throughout the afternoon. Does anyone else just feel guilty about having more than one coffee a day or is that just me? My first one is caffeine fueled and then my other two are decaf. But yeah, that's been my recent discovery and it keeps me like going throughout the day because I look forward to my morning coffee so much and then once I've had it, I'm like, mm, there's nothing else to look forward to throughout my day <laughs> until dinner time when I get really excited. So that's my first point of call for the in the kitchen chat. My second is how much does my coffee machine sound like the beginning of Britney Spears Stronger? Wait for it. Wait for it. That's my coffee machine. That was my discovery of the week, my two discoveries of the week. It was actually something important that I came on here to tell. <laughs> oh, I'm fully like, maybe that was nothing important. I actually, maybe that wasn't anything. That was maybe it. I am like fully like PMSing at the moment. Just like I fully want to skive off and eat biscuits on the sofa, but I'm not going to. So I'm kind of just becoming a little bit like hysterical, like laughing at myself. And it's just really tragic. Does anyone else get like this working from home? Because I feel like so many more of us in the world work from home now. We're all in the same like boat. Does anyone else actually just get really like crazy? Normally when I'm unmotivated, I'm like, unmotivated and feeling a bit sad. Again, the lobster hands are out, aren't they? I'm unmotivated and I'm sad, so I'm like kind of having this like weird breakdown, but I've hit this point recently where I'm unmotivated and I just don't care, but I'm actually getting more done because I don't care. It's a weird time in my life, people. <laughs> it's so weird to be doing, ah, oh, this is so hot. <laughs> don't hold it there. Yeah, it's weird to have like that level of DGAF but actually still be getting so much done. It's very rare for me. This is not normal. I, everyone says you get to your 30s and you just stop caring. And I'm wondering if maybe it's hit a tiny bit earlier. Maybe this is it. I just don't have the energy to care. Maybe that's it. But anyway, on the agenda for the afternoon is editing, admin, boring admin. And I also need to order, that doesn't go there. I also need to order a rug and a little like footstool thing for the wardrobe room, I think. I need to think about that. And then a rug for the kitchen. Oh, I think this might have been the important thing, which actually now in hindsight is very unimportant, but I found a really great snack that I think is vegan. I am aware that lots of biscuits are vegan, but I can't be bothered to find out which ones, in all honesty. I'm also very fussy with biscuits, and recently I've been craving a real like mixture of a cookie and a biscuit. Like I've just been craving both basically. And I found the vegan version and they're like a little bit kind of OT but not too OT. They still taste like a biscuit. They're almost like a really fancy, healthy, jammy dodger type taste. Like they've got this like cranberry orangeness to them. They are so good. But anyway, I'm gonna bugger off now. Stop chatting because I will regret this later when I watch the edit back and I'm like, why did I talk so much? And yeah, I'm gonna get on with my to-do list. So, see you in a bit.
Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday. I have just gotten back to my estate at Ryan's last night. Annoyingly, I've left my main vlogging camera at his house. So I'm on an old camera. Let's hope it behaves. I'm just doing my skincare and I thought I would take you through my skincare routine today because I get asked about it so much. I could have waited for a point where my skin looks better, but I'm like royally PMSing at the moment, but I just thought we'd keep it real. My skin has massively improved. Lots of you will know in the past if I was massively PMSing, my skin would be so lumpy right now and i actually only have one spot that's like come up there and they behave so differently now to how they used to i used to get these like big hormonal cysts and it scarred so much which you can probably see it was honestly like the worst skin year of my life just really really savage so it's improved a lot they now like come to a head and kind of move on a lot quicker and my skincare routine has definitely helped with that my scarring is also improving so much. I'm always so happy with how it looks at the moment and that is because in addition to my skincare routine, sorry you can hear my phone buzzing, in addition to my skincare routine I've also, well this is part of my skincare routine but I religiously wear SPF now, like the reason I'm doing an oil cleanse right now is because I actually want to put makeup on. I'm just going to be inside until it gets dark now today. Not near any windows, nothing like that, so I can take my SPF off. I put it on first thing in the morning. When I leave Ryan's I always put SPF on, even if it's like I'm only literally going to the car, I put it on because it honestly makes the world a difference and the SPF I use is honestly such a joy to use. But when I'm doing a full face of makeup, I don't want to like put too much on my skin and have it on for a full nine hour day. So yeah, that might sound like a slightly odd system, but it's really working for me in terms of not leaving too much product on my skin for too long, but also really protecting my skin and avoiding my scarring becoming darker because that's what the sun does to your scarring and you can use as many exfoliants as you like but the second you step out in the sun again it's just it's not gonna work but yeah just using a halo face halo to remove that i then always double cleanse with spf having been on my skin so i'm using the Clinique take the day off cleansing oil and then I use the Oskia Renaissance cleansing gel which is such a lovely cleansing gel. I try and be really gentle with my skin now. Even just like a year ago I used to scrub my face with a face halo and now you'll see like even when I apply cleanser I use my ring finger on my, around my eye. I try and be super super gentle with it. I just really notice the difference in like its redness and how happy my skin is if I'm just super like kind to it even with like the water temperature i use it's like tepid but yeah in addition to skincare and like trying to wear as little makeup as possible and being gentle with it i really find that sugar makes a massive difference to my skin that is like one of the biggest factors eating dairy my gosh even if i eat dairy like a tiny bit accidentally at my forehead <laughs> it just flares up. Oh, this is the annoying thing about leaving things at Ryan's house. I've left my SPF at Ryan's house. I will pop a picture of it on screen <laughs> so that you guys can see. But yeah, after my morning cleanse, I use this mist from Allies of Skin. It's amazing. So it has lots of probiotics and like fancy things in it, but it also has niacinamide in it, which is an ingredient that I love because it's almost like an antibacterial kind of ingredient. Basically what it does is it helps to repair your skin's barrier. So if you've really effed up your skin using too many like acids and things like that, like I really feel like my skin was super off balance this time last year. And that was why the hormonal acne was just like really, like it was raging and it couldn't heal. It almost felt like my skin just couldn't cope with anything unnatural that hit my face. It was just reacting to, but in a blemishy kind of way. And the reason I found I my really interesting was because it basically repairs your skin's barrier and allows your skin to cope with bacteria on it and actually like heal rather than just coming out in a load of blemishes. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how I interpreted it. So I found this ingredient to be hugely beneficial in my skincare routine. It's in my nighttime routine quite heavily and that made the world of difference, but just having it in the mist as well is so important to me. But this also, the reason I love this is it has an anti-evaporation complex, which means it doesn't just like lift back up off your skin. I need to spray this by the way, cause I'm getting dry. It doesn't just evaporate off your skin like it would my face will just stay super like moist <laughs> Hands up if you hate that word and basically what happens is if a mist evaporates off your skin It's just gonna take the moisture that was on your skin with it So it actually ends up being more drying Which is why you see a lot of people that put mist on and they work very very quickly to like pat it in But you don't have to do that with this one, which is amazing. So I'm just applying 
a light oil now. This is the Votary Super Seed Facial Oil. I really like this one. I would normally be using my Sunday Riley oil right now, and I always do if I'm having a no makeup day because I think that's when you get the most benefits out of that oil. It's the UFO Clarifying Face Oil. If you are blemish prone and you normally avoid anything oily because you think it's gonna make you worse, don't worry about that with that oil because it's literally made for acne blemish prone skin. And when I first used it, I did find I had a couple of little like bumps come up and then the bumps cleared and then my skin cleared like the congestion was like gone it was almost like it just everything left and you could see everything leaving my face and then it was gone and I don't believe that purging is a thing with like skincare products I think if something breaks you out religiously don't use it I will use it around my nose and I'll come up with a couple of like red bumps for like one day and then my skin on my nose is like so clear and my nose is normally really black heady so yeah normally then i would either put makeup on and then spray this kate somerville spf spray so this is a great one you can put it over the top of your makeup even if you've got spf underneath spf only really stays like fully working for about three hours and then you need to top up so this one is a great one to top up with i would advise with products like this if you're starting out with this early in the day so say i've done my makeup and i want to use this as like my main spf i would put this on and then put my mascara on because it basically like sets and kind of traps the SPF and stops the SPF sliding down my eyelashes into my eyes because that can happen. So just something to bear in mind if you're using a spray SPF. I sometimes like to try and like cover my eyelashes whilst I'm spraying. But yeah, it's a great SPF. I really like the fact that it's SPF 50, which a lot of sprays aren't. And I'm just not using anything anymore that is lower than SPF 50 where I can, unless it's a really like incredible product and I like other aspects of the product, but for the most part, SPF 50 has got to be that. So that is my morning skincare routine. My evening routine is very, very similar to what you've just seen, but instead of an oil, I go in with a treatment and I'm normally using an Allies of Skin treatment. This one is the Promise Keeper Blemish Sleeping Facial, which I've been using since basically the start of the year, I think since about Christmas time. I feel like there have been three main factors into my skincare routine this year. And number one is products that have like niacinamide in it, like this one, this product, has been an absolute game changer for my skin it's completely changed the way my skin responds to blemishes which is just i'm so happy about it also the sunday riley satin spot treatment has been amazing it does leave my skin a little bit red like i don't know if you can see i used it last night here and here a little bit here so my skin goes a little bit red and sometimes a bit dry and flaky but oh my god it does the world of good for the blemishes it's incredible so not only does it have zinc and sulfur in it like i know a lot of like high street spot treatments have that but it also has niacinamide in it which basically stops the chance of the blemish also coming back or like new blemishes forming there which is something that the other like high street like little kind of cotton wool in the pot thing they don't do that so lots of people when i talk about it say to me like oh you should just get this one it's way cheaper but i don't want cheap <laughs> i want something with niacinamide in it i want something that's going to stop blemishes like reoccurring and really do some good for my skin and i just think it does the world of good so those two products have been like absolute game changers for me i use the spot treatment on active like big kind of spots like i have one here and i've got one there and i've been putting the spot treatment on that i also have a tiny one down here but just in general as a, like a preventative treatment or for anything that's just kind of like a bit like a moderate spot this is amazing i use it every single night apart from a Wednesday when I used the retinal mask from Allies of Skin. And then on the weekend, I used the Charlotte Tilbury, the new mask, Super Radiance Resurfacing Facial, which I love. And I found is really just giving my scarring that extra like boost, like that extra like get off my face boost. And I'm really enjoying all three of those, but this is like five nights a week and then two nights a week, I use something else. And then obviously the other game changer for my skin has been SPF, like I cannot stress it enough. It's worth persevering and finding SPF that doesn't break you out. However, I do think products like this that are helping to rebalance my skin and almost having like an antibacterial property. I don't really know if that's the right word to use, but I've definitely heard it used in regard to niacinamide a lot. I do think it really helps my skin to cope with the SPF being on it, if that makes sense. So cleanse, double cleanse my skin, use the mist, then use this and it's like a one, products and I'm done and I don't have to spend ages faffing. So I think that is it. I'll show you a close up of my skin. It's so angry at the moment. So we've got one, two, three. They've cropped up in like the last couple of days. Ever since I started saying I'm PMSing, my skin started to show it, but it's so much better now in terms of its redness. The scarring is so reduced. I will put a picture on the screen of what each side of my face looked like back in October. It really shows the journey that I've been on, but I've been talking for 23 minutes now and 
that's a lot, so I'm gonna get on with my day. So early today, I finally ordered like some of the kind of key pieces for my wardrobe room. It's just going to be like a temporary setup for like a year or so, maybe a couple of years. So I'm not really like pouring too much like of my time and energy into it. More than most probably would, but this is me and I like to, you know, have a decent setup. And I've almost done a year in this house having a real like dodgy temporary setup. I just want a space that is quite harmonious and non-chaotic, which is what my wardrobe room is at all times at the moment. It has been really, I think it will always be that way because that is the way that I put outfits together. It's quite like Oh, and this and that, and you make a lot of mess. Anyway, mess aside, I think it'll be really lovely to finally have a space to put all of my clothes and like shut them away, hopefully as much as possible. For the most part, I think it is going to massively help that room just feel a lot more tidy, a lot more harmonious, a lot more calm, because there are doors on the wardrobe, which is something that I, I always love the look of an open wardrobe system, but it's not for me. I also think that it would help to encourage me to experiment with a bit more like color and pattern in my wardrobe if. I can't see it all at a glance. One of the things I really hate with like open wardrobe systems is when it's just, there's too much screaming at you, there's too much color and this and that. Unless you have an incredible amount of space to work with and you can really section it and space it all out, it would feel too chaotic to me. So I'm excited for it all to be like shut away and to have like a real, hopefully clear, uncluttered space. So the wardrobes are on their way tomorrow. I've also just ordered finally the curtains for that room and the curtain rail and also a little like ottoman for the center which I'm much more of an armchair person but I wanted to dabble a little bit rather than having every room feel a little bit the same so half of it will be done hopefully by early next week and then I think the like ottoman and curtains are arriving a week or so later so hopefully by the end of April it's going to be fully like ready and I'm really excited about that a little spruce up of the wardrobe room this afternoon i have packed lots of my coats and knitwear into vacuum sealed bags for my loft ready to get this refreshed for spring summer so excited i've left a few bits that are a little bit more wintry like there's still coats up until about here but just way less because i know that i'm wearing the more like dustery coats at the moment and then the big ones just in case it gets a little bit chilly on my walks in the morning then a lot of leather jackets and denim jackets and blazers and they will stay there for most of the summer through to autumn and then we've got a small knitwear section the shirt section and dress section has grown and then we also have this <laughs> My shoes are annoying me on the floor, so I have put them here and I know it is going to annoy every single one of you that they are technically on my wall, but I don't care because it really worked so well. Also, how cute is this new bag? So cute. I'm obsessed with it. I've just filmed a reel with it and I love it. It's part of a few other spring things I picked up of Zara, which will be coming soon. Their spring stuff, it always gets me. Their spring stuff is the best spring and autumn zara is the best Good morning everybody it is friday and i've been making a right old mess today hello good morning how are you i've just done the biggest try on of jeans ever in my life actually no i used to do it all the time at top shop personal shopping but i tried on a lot of jeans today <laughs> and um i'm hoping that i don't have to repeat the experience again for a very long time unless some of you tell me you want the same video that i've just done from a different brand in which case i will i will have to do it but yeah it's friday i'm feeling good it's 12 30 i think oh no it's one now it's one but i have filmed i feel like i've got so much done this week it's just been it did help that i worked at the weekend so 
you know, I feel like I've done a lot, but yeah, I'm feeling very productive. It's been a good week and now it's the weekend and I can actually just kind of like, I was about to say chill. And then I realized that my hallway looks like this. Yeah, the wardrobes have arrived. What else has arrived? This is my new coffee table. We also have the light for the wardrobe room. How cute is that? I'm really hoping this works out. Yeah, this is the coffee table. I'm gonna make myself my usual iced coffee. I also really need to have some lunch. I'm starving. And I'm gonna put this together. Well, when I say put it together, it's fully assembled. I'm just gonna unbox it. like the skeleton of the chandelier that is going in the wardrobe room. Still kind of big, good thing I'm short, you know? And I'm the only one that's gonna use that room. I wonder how I'm meant to attach all of the little bits. That's gonna, this is gonna be fun. After the last chandelier, I was like, never doing that ever again. She's bought another one. I have a feeling this is the kind of light that my electrician is going to absolutely hate. I love the fact that this came through the door this way up and on the other side it says incorrect this way up putting it this way will result in damage great what do we think about the chairs there i kind of like it gives me a bit more space to work with going this way i don't know i feel like the chairs in this room will constantly like move around so the back story with this was there was a chair that i was eyeing up on made.com it was kind of expensive and i think it took about a million years to arrive oh great this is upside down oh good but anyway the exact same table that was on made.com was available on dunelm for like 100 pounds less and it was available in like two days and i was just like this is a no-brainer you know what will be easy she says famous last words very nervous about this. It has a glass top. Well, thank goodness that arrived in one piece because I was worried. <laughs> there was one point where I was moving the box around and I heard some like movement and it really sounded like it could have been like broken glass moving and I was like, oh God, please be okay. But it's all fine. You can see my skylight. And the reflection but yeah i actually love the way this looks in here it obviously ties in with the chairs really well but it's just warmed up the look of this space which i think you can see like now that there's a lot more wood in the shot how cool the floor and the walls are like there's definitely like a hint of lilac to the gray and it really makes this room very cold but i love the way the wood is just helping a little bit to warm it up and hopefully if i do get to redo the flooring it will still tie in so beautifully with the tone of flooring that i love just that real light warm oaky kind of tone i really love that tone so yeah very happy with that i am still on the search for a rug but i have real decision fatigue with rugs at the moment it's going to be an ongoing saga but i will get there yeah i'm really happy with those hopefully the lighting situation for the wardrobe room also starts to take shape this weekend maybe if i'm really lucky and we don't need the electrician to put it up and now it's just time to spend a weekend putting wardrobes together but yeah, I think that is going to be it from me today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the latest home edition to Casa del Sus. I'm very happy with this one. It's not necessarily a super me piece of furniture, but I think it suits the space nicely. So that was what was important, was just getting the right piece for the space. So yeah, I need to go tidy all of this stuff. I'm going to leave you guys here. I hope you've all enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys again very soon. Love you, bye.